let's make sure it's using the right microphone. It's using the right microphone. Boop, ba doop, boop. Checking. I'm gonna have to control everything with my mouse this time because I just got a new computer. You guys might know about that already. I don't know for sure. I recorded the video. I'm really bad at things, you know, that people have to do in like life, but I'm getting better, I think. Here we go. Remember when I used to do that? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel once again. My name is Brandon. I am an acting coach, and I make uh, music reactions and other content right here on YouTube just for you. Yes, you. No, not no. You you all can't raise your hand at once. Yeah, you right right yeah, right there. That's it. But you. Yep. Yeah, you. Hi. <laughs> it's nice to see you here again. We're about to jump into this brand new reaction. I've got a new jump the line. This one's from Michael. I don't know anything about this group good example jump the line is available down in the description if you want to get a reaction done to something right now as opposed to having to wait weeks months or maybe ever videos like this wouldn't happen there's no way i would find this group if michael had not jumped the line for it the way that he did so thank you so much michael for the support if you're watching on youtube please consider subscribing to the channel hit that like button leave me a comment in the comment section down below check the description for all kinds of social media links and different ways to support the channel including the list of the jump the line offers you can donate through paypal for those shoot me an email before you do let make sure that i haven't he already heard the content you want me to react to also the patreons down there come on over and check that out it's growing all the time bunch of cool people over there they're also over in the discord all that being said the uh, obligatory stuff out of the way let's just jump into this video i don't know I, I i have no idea what i'm looking at i see one okay rock take what you want ambitious japan dome tour maybe uh, one okay rock is the name of the group take what you want maybe would be the title I think so. That's what I'm going with. It's sad. Like broken heart, kind of sad. Beautiful vibrato. Before the music video actually gets started, first of all, real quick note for those of you who get really annoyed when I stop early, here you go, get annoyed again. People think that I'm like, hey, don't be mean in the comments because it hurts my feelings. That's not true. The reason I do that is because to be honest, it's really hard for me not to be mean back sometimes. I'm, you know, I do my best. I don't want to get into arguments on the internet. There's no point. I stop it because that's my job. If you don't like that, I understand. You don't have to stay here and watch it. Go check out the video. The link to the original is in the description. You can go watch it. But I've got to say really quickly, before it jumps into what's going to be the main part of the song, I love this sort of little preamble of when it happens in music and songs, sort of epic, especially in concert tours and especially by rock bands because you know something big is coming. Also, it's a huge demonstration of talent. It's very difficult as a singer, so I'm told, to start off uh, a song like this in the right key, on pitch, in rhythm, when basically you are everything. You don't have the drums, you don't have the lead guitar, you don't have a keyboard. Nothing is helping to keep you in time. Nothing is putting you on pitch. You're having to do it all by yourself. That's what I wanted to say. I wanted to stop and acknowledge the talent of this singer. So I'm going to go back a little bit so we can kind of just ease into this transition naturally. <laughs> I can barely see his face, but he's heartbroken. Love that little look, told me so much. It was like. It was like a concession. Not the memories, all the things we. The picture of us on the wall. So take what you want. Oh, that almost made me cry.
Okay, that's what I thought. All right. I didn't want to interrupt in case I was wrong, but I felt like this was when the instruments were really going to drop and, and kind of take off and, and we we're going to get into like the actual song. Not that this isn't the actual song. Michael, you know, this isn't the first time you've done this to me, man. You, you're the one who threw for Stella at me, I think, right? Was that you? Okay. All right. Um, wow. This is a really long video, so I'm going to try to be brief, okay? That long pause that he took, it's uh, its amazing to be able to place a pause like that and still hold the audience. I think his instincts were either re just generally really good naturally, or they tested this out and they knew when he needed to come back in. Things feel a certain way. Michelangelo, when he sculpted the David, there's this old legend. I don't even know if it's true, but it says that uh, he, he would come in after he was commissioned and sit in front of that giant block of marble and stare at it every day. He did it for weeks and weeks. And, and eventually somebody asked him, what are you doing? We paid you all this money. You haven't done any work. What have you been doing in there all this time? And he said, I'm sculpting. And he went on coming in and standing or sitting and staring at the stone. Months after he was hired and paid, he began sculpting and it went so quickly. And he explained the sculpture's already in the marble. All he has to do is find it and chip away the extra stone, the extra marble, right? He has to just chip away the excess. There are times when people will do something, uh, you know, they'll sing a certain note or something will get played on an instrument, and it just doesn't feel right. Musicians that really know what they're doing, singers who are really connected to their craft, they find the moments, and there's no one right way, but they find those moments that just feel like when it gets sung, when it gets played, it just feels like that's exactly what was intended. That was supposed to happen. Like long before the song was ever written, that song was meant to be composed and arranged and performed just like that. And you can tell just because of how it feels. It's just innate, it's instinctual, and it's probably different for a lot of people, so it may be a bit of an illusion, but that's not the point. The point is that this was one of those moments. For me, there is a great deal of expression in his voice. I wasn't hardly able to see him at all, but I could feel everything. I didn't know it was going to be in English. That was a nice surprise, but I could feel all of the intention. There was so much passion behind his voice. I'm incredibly impressed. And one thing I thought, but I didn't know for sure there until toward the end when I got a good look at his face, is that this feels like a song being sung by like a, a young man. Early 20s, mid 20s, max. It felt like a song that was written by somebody who was experiencing a breakup in one of those really critical periods in people's lives when you haven't gone through a few breakups and you don't already know, you haven't already learned that just because it sucks now doesn't mean it's going to suck forever. That heartache still feels like to this young man who's singing, it's the worst thing he'll ever experience and it's never going to end and he'll never ever get over it and nothing will ever be as good as it was when things were right. And that's, look, I know it's a little immature and, and when, we're, when we were older, we look back on those times and think of how silly we were because we got so upset, so worked up over that crush we had in 10th grade or whatever. But in the moment, those are some of the most intense emotional moments in a human being's life, and they should not be discounted. They shouldn't be ignored, and they shouldn't be marginalized. They're important. They help shape who we are. This is a beautiful expression of that moment. I'm going to shut up now. I have more to say, but I'm going to shut up because this video is like nine minutes long.
I'm loving this sound too. What is this sound called? Because it doesn't sound like it sounds like something, but I can't put my finger on it. That's incredible. That's so good, man. Why am I going to cry again? Look at all of them. Look at all of their faces. Whoa. Yo. Okay, I've got to stop it for just like a couple of seconds. I'll say a few things and then we'll get right back to it. First of all, all the band members are really impressing me because they're not just playing their music and they're not just doing their part. They're feeling this too. What, what I get, I don't know anything about them. Anybody out there who might be fans of them, let me know. I feel like, first of all, these are people who have probably been friends for a long time, maybe even before they started playing music. And two, I feel like they're really close. I feel like they're probably very close personally because what it seems to me is somebody wrote this. I'm guessing one of the band members, probably the lead singer, maybe with help. It was discussed and talked about and rehearsed over and over and over again. And all of the band members seem to have adopted the persona. They seem to have completely, like, wholly empathized with the plight, with the struggles and the pain of the, the narrator, of the person who wrote it. And that tells me that somebody in the band probably wrote it and that they're all a very tight-knit group. I could be wrong. I could be entirely wrong. Secondly, the lead singer. I'm loving this guy. Great vocally, it's amazing. They, they, some of those notes he were hitting were was pretty cool, but mostly it's sort of the intensity behind his voice. I hope is he's taking care of his vocal cords. But everything he does, every time he takes a step forward, he lets out some some big notes, or he's just delivering the lyrics. You can see the tension. You can see the frustration, the pain, the anger. The it's that kind of anger that's like that's like screaming, "No, just I don't want any." Anything from you. I don't want to hear from you ever again. I don't want to see you ever again. Just get get out. And at the same time, every part of your body is screaming, please, please don't leave me. Please don't let this be the end of us, right? And so it, there's this huge sort of like that. Not all of that anger is directed at them, at the other person or at the thing that they did. It's it's not hate. It's love. It's love grieving. He's he's just he's just representing it so well. I'm so impressed. And the the moments where the the audience is singing that just kind of gets to me. That kind of connection stirs something up on the inside. But let, let's just get back to it. Let's finish it out.
Who are this? This this group. Who is this group, man? Look at all those people. Well done. Look at him selling that though, living in it. Okay, all right. (laughs) So that was, I'm guessing, one OK Rock singing Take What You Want. Uh, That was a great, great performance. Um, one of the things I love about doing these videos on this channel is I get to listen to things that I would normally never listen to in my day-to-day life. I would be lying to you if I said that this is a group or music that I would just play in my car or, or you know, when I'm working out or whatever. It, it's probably not. And it's not because I don't like rock music and or because I didn't like this. It's just because it doesn't vibe with me personally, right? Uh, I think maybe this is probably something I would have listened to when I was 16, 20, maybe 20, you know, in that area. I would have really probably related to this song and I'm sure so many people do and he really really sells it he really connects he's incredibly charismatic he's pretty young or he, at least he, he looks young that's one of my favorite things about doing this kind of content on YouTube is that I get to take some time away from the normal things that I would listen to from my playlists and and get out of my bubble a little bit and really experience what's out there and take a few minutes to really sort of appreciate something that is genuine and 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 fine art without having to wonder well you know is this going to be for me and that's a gift that you guys give to me and I really appreciate that I think I've said pretty much everything I needed to about this performance during the performance I was really impressed by the cohesiveness of the band I was really impressed by the interpretation that's a whole different thing i could explain some other time but but the way he he and they were interpreting the lyrics the content the scenario that was being painted the story that was being told all the little textures and, and tones that he gave us throughout that performance it's a beautiful moment i love the audience i love seeing that they have a ton of little fans i love seeing that these fans were there and collected in there and in that moment for this thank you so much uh michael once again for jumping the line for this another another like it's just another banger man you you just keep giving me these groups that are really intense um if you watch this on youtube and you enjoyed what you watch consider subscribing to the channel hit the like button leave me a comment that kind of engagement really helps out the channel also if you enjoy this reaction you want to hear more from this group let me know what else i need to know about them in the comments i know zero about them i didn't even know that they existed yesterday so leave me some comments let me know who they are let me know what they're up to what they're all about and if you want to see more reactions to them and you don't want to wait weeks or months maybe to see the next one come out here on youtube consider signing up for the patreon first of all because if i do another one of of their reactions it'll probably end up there before it comes here at least a few days sometimes a couple of weeks and also check out the jump the line down there you can request uh, reactions that have to be done either in 15 days or, or inside of five days depending on which package you choose and and i don't have any choice in that once you sign up for that and i agree to it that's just all there is to it i have to get it done within the five days so if you want something done right now and you don't feel like waiting jump down in the description check out the listings for the different jump the line tiers and shoot me an email let me know what you want to hear and we'll work it out together thank you so much for being here i do appreciate it so much more than i could tell you please remember as always to be kind to each other and most importantly be kind to yourself